Have y'all ever been the leader, the boss, supervisor over something? Don't matter if you was a, a, a cheerleader squad team leader, the superintendent of a school, the boss of your job, um, the head coach. Have you ever been in that position and you use your position and bring in your family member, your daughter, your son, or whoever, and you feel like people should cater to them? because you're the boss have you ever used your position like that if you have you're a straight up a-hole it doesn't make your child or your loved one better than nobody just because you're the boss you're the boss i will say that you earned that position but obviously we see that you didn't or if you did earn it we obviously see that you don't deserve it because of the way that you are your morals are completely messed up that's completely messed up because you should respect the person and respect a person's opinion. If they don't agree with something that your child, your loved one, your mama, your cousin did, yo, you you probably know that your child is messed up and your, your mama or somebody's messed up or whatever is messed up. But since you had accepted it, your whole life doesn't mean I got to accept it. And if I don't agree with something, just because they some kin, you don't mean I got to agree with it. It's just point blank period. I have my opinion just like they have theirs. Let's talk about this case about the teacher that's up in, um, I think this was California, got mad because people didn't clap loud enough for her child, so she wanted to retaliate. Yeah, she felt like that was the thing to do. You better go on and back up. Back South side, man and mailman in the building, bruh. Nino! Nino! What you hollering when you scream, bruh? Mailman. So, when you get a position of power, and power is just saying leadership. That doesn't give you the authority to bully somebody. You want to flex your muscles. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. No, that don't give you the ability to do that. Take that BS on somewhere. Get going with that. Don't nobody. That don't make you better than nobody. So we got a, a California superintendent uh, that tried to bully students because they wouldn't clap they didn't clap loud enough for her her child so she decided to use the authority that she has to retaliate against them and, and, and make them hey y'all didn't do this for my child and, and so i'm gonna use my position and i'm gonna show y'all let's check this out and see what y'all think about this uh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna get my opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? Let's check this out. The board has lost all confidence and trust in Dr. Phelps's ability to continue to serve as superintendent. Though the Poway Unified School District voted unanimously to fire Superintendent Dr. Marion Phelps with cause for allegedly harassing students, she and some members of the board are still facing a civil suit. I think that the district is going to need to dismantle itself at the administrative level and rebuild. Justin Reedon represents the Del Norte High School softball player who filed the lawsuit in November of last year. The suit claims Dr. Phelps bullied and harassed students and that Phelps's daughter and the player who filed it were both pitchers competing for playing time. No student should ever have to go through what my client went through. The harassment accusations stem from what's become known as Clappergate during the Del Norte softball team's awards banquet last May, when then-Superintendent Phelps said the team didn't clap loud enough for her daughter. Some players say it triggered Phelps to retaliate against them. There was a culture uh, that persevered, that allowed this type of activity to go on without anyone reporting uh, the bad behavior. The lawsuit includes screenshots of what appears to be Dr. Phelps texting a player near midnight after the banquet. Another screenshot of the plaintiff's call screen appears to show a 30-minute conversation between them that ended at midnight. It also includes other texts seemingly from Dr. Phelps accusing one student of lying, then telling her she'd follow up later from an administrative standpoint. The student was ultimately barred from all extracurricular activities for the 2023-2024 school year. I've never threatened any student. I never would. I've never talked to any student about uh, making threats about them not graduating, 
Despite Dr. Phelps' denial in November, during Tuesday's special board meeting, the board said an investigation uncovered evidence that, quote, contradicted Dr. Phelps' statements to the district in public, findings that ultimately led to her firing nearly a year after the scandal erupted. It should not take a year with the knowledge that they had. There was just so much evidence from the start to show that this person should not be in this position of power. I hope that today's events empowers the students within the district and empowers their families to have the confidence to stand up for what's right. A valuable lesson that parents and some educators say came at the expense of students. Amari Fleming, NBC7. Okay. Now, I want to say this. One, I agree with that parent. It shouldn't have taken a year for that that superintendent to be fired. That superintendent should have been fired um, once the proof of allegation was brought to light. She should have been fired. No, no, it don't take a year to um so I had to figure that out. Two, I want to say is how slow do you gotta be to not understand you lying and it's gonna be proven that you lying? You sent a text, you, these phones. If I text somebody right now and went, hey, what's up? I know I text them. I know it. Even if I delete it in my phone, it's still on their phone. How slow do you got to be to go in front of a camera and lie and say that you never text them and, and sent no threats to nobody when it's documented? I, I, I don't get it. Could somebody please explain it to me? Because I, I, I don't get it. Am I missing something here? Is there something that I'm missing that I'm just not seeing? I, I'm open to people sharing something to me that I might not have seen. I'm very open to it. I'm very, very open to it. Look at this. She looked like a crook, man. She she looked like a little crook. Because look at her. She looked sneaky and conniving. Look, just look at her. Let me say this. I'm glad you fired. I'm glad you will no longer be able to harass them kids and their parents. And I hope nobody hires you ever again to do no kind of work for the school or put you in a position of power. Because we see what you would do if you have a little authority over other individuals. You will abuse it. And check this out. When I was reading the article, the daughter felt her mom did nothing wrong. This goes back to what I was saying being raised by a woman and how the, the the continuation of the bad behavior get passed down to the next generation. If this young woman don't see how her mom did something wrong by trying to inappropriately bully another student of hers just so she could get the upper hand, she's going to be a disaster too. The world does not work that way, sweet. The world does not have to give you a prize and accolades just because you feel like you should get it. If you should get it, make people see why you should get it. Earn it. But don't try to use a position of authority that somebody you know make me have to think I got to clap or support you. And then if I don't, it's going to be retaliation against me. Man, help your mama. You too. I ain't you. If you felt like your mama was supposed to get the kudos because she tried to bully somebody else to give you a position, then I don't, don't nobody care about you. Don't nobody care about your mama. It is what it is. I hope that you're enjoying the podcast. I just ask one thing. Could you like, subscribe, and follow? Tell a friend. Leave a comment. I'm trying to grow this channel, and I want to grow it with you. Now, let's get back to this entertaining content. So, if somebody just trying to give me something i don't want it i want to earn what i get the value in earning it is so much more better because i know that i can do it and if i did it once i can do it again 
your mama is gone. So even if you had a won another award or something, that that one moment that you got to enjoy because your mama tried to cheat when it never happened again. Your mama don't run nothing but her mouth. That's all your mama run. And she can use that for something else. That's what she can do. Because your mama can't bully my child to clout for you. You ain't better than my child. And I'm just saying that in a position of them other parents, you're not better than them other parents' child unless you go out there on that baseball field and you prove your athletic skills. Let your athletic skills show how good you are. But your mama, dingy face looking self, need to go sit down somewhere. I'm sure she probably not married. And if she is married, she married to a sucker. Your daddy a sucker. Because he probably allowed her to run over him. And that came from mailman, all the way from mailman in Atlanta, Georgia, all the way to you in California. Yes, all the way to you in California, point blank period. Your child ain't better than nobody else's child in Atlanta, and, and not Atlanta, in California, unless she proved her athletic skills to say her athletic skills are great. Michael Jordan ain't great just because Michael Jordan said he great. It is so many documented videos to show you why Michael Jordan is great? That's why Michael Jordan is great. And you know what's the craziest thing that y'all don't realize in the day's world? Michael Jordan got turned down before we had this social media thing, and they said he wasn't good enough. You know what he did? He went and practiced all summer and became the greatest basketball player of all times. The greatest basketball player of all times but he didn't go to his mama and say mama bully them people into making me become the greatest basketball player he let his athleticism speak for him so that tells me your daughter don't have it and your daughter knows she don't have it if she's supporting your bad behaviors and that's point blank period i love y'all let's talk about it mailman